there's a little tip that we're going to use and it's called instancing and we can actually instance our original cube to create duplicates and then the benefit of this is we can then change our original cube and it's going to update the rest of them so like it's okay like this I've only got you know three shelves so it wouldn't be a massive deal but you know if you're working with quite a few um, objects then it's going to be super handy so I just deleted that second shelf, that second cube. We don't need that anymore. And this is my first one. So I've got my cube selected. So I've clicked it and it's and I know it's selected because it's turned orange. And we've also got, you know, this orange outline in our viewport. And if we come to this first kind of green icon and we're going to click and we're going to hold it. And this is where, you know, we have our subdivision and we have our symmetry. But we also have this instance option. And so I'm going to let go of my mouse and then straight away now we have this cube instance and so when we look at the attributes we don't have our normal cube settings like we haven't got our um like our object properties or our fillet or anything we only have this reference object and it's referencing our cube and so this is super handy when it comes to you know creating multiple um of the same object and so what we can do, I'm going to just sort of reposition my cube instance. So I'm just going to push it up um, on the Y axis by 50 centimeters. So I'm going to grab my green axis handle. I'm going to hit my shift key and I'm just going to pull it up and I'm going to go 50 centimeters. Cool. So we have our second shelf. So now because this is a cube instance, we can just duplicate our cube instance. And so we can just do our command click now. And so this is still referencing the original cube. And then we're going to push it up again, another 50 centimeters. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to grab my green axis handle, hit my shift key. And with both held down, I'm going to just pull it up 50 centimeters. So now we have our three shelves. And this is where, you know, the instancing trick is great. So if I go back to my original cube, so you don't have to worry about doing this bit. This is just me showing you um, how the instance works. If I grab my original cube and you can see it's the original one because of this kind of it's still got the primitive cube icon and we've still got all of our settings down here. And let's change the kind of the depth of my shelf to 40 centimeters. And what you'll see is it's actually changed the depth of both my cube instances as well. And so instead of having to worry about kind of duplicating my shelves in like the traditional way and then adjusting the size of every single one, the cube instance just does it like there and then for us. So it's a super handy trick if you've got, you know, like a whole bunch of the same object um, in your scene. 